this is future me speaking with a sinus infection because the dirt at Nocturnal always messes me up. No, it's not COVID. I did get a test. So, first of all, I had the best time at Nocturnal. Nocturnal Wonderland is one of my favorite festivals ever. The best part of it is camping. So if you've ever thought about camping and you're not like super, I don't know, bougie and can handle then definitely check out camping, 1000% recommend. It's so much fun, they have pre-parties, they have after parties, they have silent disco. They have a pool with like slides and stuff. You can make many friends at the campsites. They have sound baths, they have morning yoga, and just so many things. And you can just hang out by the lake and eat with your friends, barbecue. But anyways, so yeah, I'm just going to explain my weekend a little bit. There's three days of this festival. There's day zero, which is the pre-party day. Um, you come in the day before the festival party and um, listen to some bomb DJs. As we were watching Dr. Fresh, Zoo came out, so that was pretty cool. Zoo wasn't even like close on the lineup. He was not on the lineup at all, and Zoo was amazing, so that was awesome. And... The funniest part of this whole trip is that we forgot a tent, and it, I just think that's so funny. Like, we went camping and forgot a tent. Luckily, the day after, our friends came and brought us a tent, but yeah, we survived. I literally slept on the floor, and I was actually fine day one, so we made it. Aww. And here's our flag, courtesy by me. And then day one was my favorite in terms of the lineup and the music that was playing. We played, we stayed at the Sunken Garden stage, which was the Tech House stage that night. We saw Sam Devine, Satya Rabati, Mikey Lyon, A Track, and Claptone, who all killed it, by the way. Sam Devine was amazing, like, loved her set. Um, I bumped into so many friends. A festival to me is like a reunion. I just bumped into so many people that I don't get to see very often. Wow. A nice view of the showers and the porta potty. But anyways. <laughs> okay, good morning y'all. It's day one. Yesterday was day zero. We were just trying to get situated. And um hold on. Oh. Wait, I actually have no idea where this button part. Well, here's my view at least, but I'm actually lost. We forgot our tent. So basically this is where I was sleeping. Yeah, we went camping and forgot our tent. So that's just funny. I slept right there. And it's 7 a.m. and I'm up and no one else is up, but I get up to the sunlight. So sunlight and that's why I'm up, but yeah. Yesterday we were just trying to get situated so I didn't really vlog, but today we're vlogging because it's a new day and I'm honestly ready. Look at how cute our campsite is, kind of, not really, but here's the flag that I bought featuring this cute little wasp or a bee. <laughs> but yeah. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Nocturnal camping. Also, I woke up and I guess I bought John Summit tickets while blacked out. So, see y'all in Santa Barbara. <laughs> Everyone's asleep, so I'm just walking by myself um, and exploring. So, let's just hope I don't get lost. Um, here's a little playground. There's like food and stuff. 
Um, cornhole. Here we got our beads because we're going to make foam charms. Look at how cute these are. Honestly, I, I know it's not a fine heat yet, but it this is how mine's turned out. <laughs> okay, the string came out kind of ugly though, but it's so cute, I guess. Yum! Lunch. We got the glizzies and the truly. So for day two, we went to a sound bath and it was super nice, um, super calming. It was a chill day. I was so happy because my friends decided to come last minute. They literally bought a ticket like two hours before the festival. Um, this whole festival, I showered with a water bottle because I really don't care. Like it's the same thing as going under the shower. I just wore a bathing suit, so that's usually how I am at camping festivals. I really don't remember who I saw. I remember seeing AC Slater and ending my night with seven lions. I didn't really record much from this day. I was just having the time of my life. I did end up losing my ID and credit card and someone tried using it and they spent 140 bucks, but then Wells Fargo refunded me.
Okay, the fest is over. It's day three. Alive, but I'm dead. My voice is gone. I'm so tired. I don't even know what time it is. Okay, I guess this is the aftermath. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro. <laughs> and that was basically the end of the festival. My next festival will be EDC. Um, I'm thinking about Dream State. I don't know what I'm doing for Halloween. We'll see about that. I don't know what I'm doing for New Year's. I'm either going to the San Francisco Midway thing or John Summit. Um, and then I'm thinking about going to BPM in Costa Rica. And then I have tickets for, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's in Cabo and Diplo's throwing it. Diplo's Higher Ground. It has Diplo, Duke Dumont, Gorgon City. Um, John Summit, I'm not going to read the whole thing, Solardo, Sunny Fedora, Vanessa, Jay Wara, many, many artists, there's a yacht parties, um, all-inclusive drinks, but yeah, if you're going to Cabo, definitely let me know because I would love to know, um, definitely, if you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, don't forget to give it a like, a comment, comments really help for the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, stay in tune for my next festival vlogs or just regular vlogs in between to see what I do in between festivals because I don't just go out every day. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.